In this video today, we are going to be talking about omeprazole. So what is omeprazole? What are the side effects of omeprazole? What are the common side effects of omeprazole? What are the longer term side effects of omeprazole? And what are some serious side effects of omeprazole as well? So we're going to touch upon that in this video. Let's get started. Welcome to the channel where we discuss medical topics and lifestyle. So you may have heard of omeprazole or you may not have heard of omeprazole, but it comes in various shapes and sizes and it comes in various names. So some of them you might have come across, some of them you might not have come across. So Losec is one of them. Then you can have one called Losec MUPS. So that's another one that's commonly used. Pyrocom as well. You can buy it over the counter. You can buy it from pharmacists. You can get it prescribed from your doctors as well. And what it effectively does is that it reduces the amount of acid that your stomach makes. In your stomach, you have proton pumps, so enzymes that line the stomach and that make the acid to digest the food. And the omeprazole limits that. And that's why it's called a proton pump inhibitor. And why that's useful is that it treats things like indigestion, heartburn, acid reflux, and in certain cases, it is used to prevent and treat stomach ulcers as well. So that's the function of omeprazole and what it's commonly used for. And so let's jump right into some common side effects of omeprazole. The important thing to note here regarding common side effects of omeprazole is that the frequency of them is about 1 in 100 people. So that's quite good. So 1% is affected by common side effects of omeprazole. And luckily for us, there are things we can do to help cope with them. So one of the first common side effects of omeprazole is headaches. What can we do to help reduce the headaches or to cope with the side effect. So we can make sure to drink plenty of fluids to avoid drinking alcohol. To usually, usually they will go away after the first week. And if they don't, or if they're particularly bad, then obviously it might not be the omeprazole and we need to speak to our doctor to find out what's going on. So headache is one of the common side effects. Now let's move on to some other ones. One of the other common side effects that can result from taking omeprazole is the feeling of sickness. In other words, nausea. So that's another common side effect of omeprazole. And how what we do to try and mitigate that is we try taking the omeprazole with or after a meal or a snack. And we also try where it may help to not eat rich or spicy food. Another common side effect can be vomiting or diarrhea, in which case we should drink plenty of water by having small frequent sips. This can help to avoid dehydration. We need to pay attention to some of the signs of dehydration, which include peeing less than usual or having strong smelling pee. We shouldn't really be taking over the counter uh, medication to treat the diarrhea vomiting without speaking to a pharmacist or a doctor. But in general, these are the ways that we can mitigate that. And we have to watch out with contraception because when you're vomiting, then you might not be absorbing the effects of that. So that's something to take into consideration if you're taking contraceptive medication. Let's move on to another common side effect, and that is constipation. So now we have the opposite, not diarrhea, but constipation. And what we can do to try and fix that is a lot of similar things that we do for to treat constipation, which is by increasing the fiber in our diet, by drinking plenty of fluids, by uh, eating you know, fresh fruit, vegetables, cereals, drinking plenty of water, try to exercise as well, for example, by going for a daily walk or a run. And if that doesn't help, then we have to speak to somebody again. And the, the other one is stomach pain. So that's a common side effect of taking omeprazole. So let's just try to relax and rest. It can help to eat and drink slowly or having smaller and more frequent meals, putting a heat pad or cover or hot covered hot water bottle on your stomach may also help. And if you're in a lot of pain, again, speak to somebody. And the last common side effect is flatulence, farting in other words. So try to avoid those foods that provoke that, that cause flatulence, like pulses, like lentils, beans, and onions as well. So these are the things that can provoke flatulence, and we don't need any more of it in that case. And um, so we can try some pharmacy alternatives, such as simeticone. You can try to eat smaller and slower meals. But again, if these things continue to bother us, then we need to speak to somebody else and get some advice. If you look at the back packaging of medication, you will see loads of side effects. So we've now listed the common side effects, and now we're going to talk about longer term side effects. And one of them is magnesium. So your blood levels of magnesium can be affected. So 
if you take omeprazole for more than three months, the levels of magnesium in your blood may fall. This can cause you to feel tired, confused, dizzy. It can cause your muscles to twitch, shakiness, and even an irregular heartbeat. So it's important if you have any of these symptoms, speak to somebody. Other things that can happen if you take omeprazole for a longer period of time, so more than 12 months, you can have an increased risk of bone fractures. This is something that's not commonly talked about. You can have an increased propensity to develop gut infections as well. So that's something to note. And also, vitamin B12 deficiency can occur, where symptoms include feeling tired, sore and a red tongue, mouth ulcers, and pins and needles. You can check our other videos on that. And then we have more serious side effects, which can happen, and that is generally one in a thousand. So you remember how we said one in a hundred can get common side effects, whereas serious, serious side effects can occur one in a thousand. Now, these serious side effects we won't dive into because there's a few of them, but it's just worth noting that common sense must prevail here. So if you're really feeling terrible or your skin becomes yellow or you get joint pains along with uh, very weird looking rashes on your bodies or diarrhea doesn't settle down and things like that, then you have to let somebody know. But in general, those are the common side effects, some longer term side effects, some serious side effects. Nice quick video for you. If you enjoyed it, please leave a comment in the section below. Let us know other topics you'd like us to cover. Omeprazole is a medication that's used so, so often and forever and ever and ever. And people use it very long term. And it's just worth noting some of the side effects around them. And if you don't need it, then don't take it, obviously. But if you do, then do. Like and subscribe for more. We'll see you in the next video. Hope you learned something. Take care.